Hey, and welcome to my Aberrant Spectre Slayer Guide. Uh, in this guide, I will show you the requirements for killing these creatures, the gear and in inventory you should use, uh, which familiar you should use while killing them, the location and how to get there, a demo of me killing them, and at last I'm going to talk about some XP rates and money gain while doing this task. On to the requirements. We're going to start off with you need 60 Slayer to kill these creatures, and you need 37 Prayer to at least have Protect Magic. You should have completed Smoking Kills to get access to a full Slayer Helmet, and you could kill these creatures using just a nose pack, however, due to the fact that the Polyvniach dun dungeon smokes, smoke damages you, uh, your HP will drop to 10, which is fine because you're praying mage, you will not die. However, if you DC and your prayer drops, you will die. And you should have a dwarf multi cannon for this method, which is what makes it really effective. It is also suggested to have a full slayer helmet, as earlier stated. And you should have 96 summoning for a yak, and uh, possibly 99 for a steel titan as well. You should have 95 prayer for turmoil on the curse uh, prayer book. And you should have a chaotic weapon, which will increase your kill speed by a lot, due to the fact that it increases your cannon accuracy as well. The best gear you could use for this task would be something along the lines of this. You would have the full slayer helmet, an emulator fury, to took or call, or a completionist cape if you're lucky enough to have that, a banos chestplate, uh, Bandos Tacids, Steadfast Boots, the Barrow Gloves, and an Onyx Ring. Uh, the Dragon Defender and the CLS uh, is what makes you you hit a lot, plus it makes your cannon more accurate. So this is the best combo you can use if you're using a cannon and the cannon is doing most of your damage. An Onyx Ring is preferred over a Berserker Ring because it also adds to your cannon accuracy. Uh, use whichever aura you want, but uh, Reverence would be a good one since you're praying and this will save your prayer. If you don't want to spend that much on prayer potions and or you don't have bandos, I would suggest something like this. You would use proslite and a soul wars cape. And instead of boots can be easily switched out with dragon boots. And the onyx ring, uh, since many people don't do MA, you could use an explorer's ring, which does add one plus prayer bonus, which not many people know. If you don't have a CLS, uh, the second best option would be a rapier, uh, together with Dragon Defender. And if you don't have the rapier, you could use a Chaotic Maul. And if you don't have that, the best would be just to use a whip and a Dragon Defender, as you would do in all the other tasks you have. On to your inventory now. Uh, you should only be needing one Extreme Set or Super Set, or one Overload, depending on what you use. You should be having one Prayer Renewal and then a couple of prayer potions. The amount of prayer potions you will need does depend on if you're using a more prayer bonus oriented set or if you're using a strength uh, for faster kills. If you're using a yak, you should have yak scrolls to bank the extra herbs. And if you have a steel titan, you should have steel titan scrolls, of course. You should also have scrolls uh, charged into your helm for more specs. Should of course be taking your dwarf multi cannon with you with cannonballs, and you should have the herbicide for cleaning and destroying some of the herbs you're not going to pick up for some extra herb XP. You should have the ferocious ring for teleporting for quickly and getting a new task. You should have a slayer ring for checking how many uh, how many monsters you got left for your task, and you should have a quick teleport to a bank after you're done with getting a new task if you want to bank between them. If your summoning level is low and you don't really have access to any of the uh, good fighting familiars such as the titans, you really shouldn't be using a combat familiar. You should be using a beast of burden, preferably maybe a tortoise or a spirit terror bird. But if you have a very high summoning level, which is 96 plus or 99, just a question if you should be using a fighting titan or a beast of burden. The Fighting Titan will, of course, increase your kills per hour and player XP per hour. But you will not be making as much profit because you won't be able to bank all the herb drops. So that's the call for you to take if you want to make money from this or if you want to get the most XP. A, a good combo would, would be to use a Titan for the first half of your task until your inventory is full. And then switch to your Yak so you could bank your herbs that way. This is probably the best combo if you're looking for something between the best XP per hour and making money from it. There are primarily two good methods of teleporting to the Polyvaniac Dungeon. The best one would be to use a Slayer Ring to teleport to Simona.
The second best would be to chip and modify one of your house tablets to teleport to your house in Palavnaic, which is really close by as well. A third or fourth option would be to take the carpet ride from Shantae Pass, or you could teleport to the bandit camp and run across the desert. Now I'm going to show you how to get there using the teleport tab and or slayer ring. If you don't have any band, you could right click and choose modify on the house tab if you've completed a love story. Make it polyvinic tab and then break it. This will get you to the house uh, house portal. Now just run. If you can see this house here, this is Simona. This is where your slayer ring would have teleported you, so that's even quicker. It's an impling in there. Then you just run over to this dungeon here. Go down, run north, over to this barrier over here, you can see it in a second. Pass through here, just don't bother about these guys. Run down the stairs, northeast, and you are at the spot. The best cannon spot that I use for 99 Slayer is if you go from this rock, that's one s one space south of this rock. That's two spaces. That's three, and then you go three spaces east. One, two, three. That's the best cannon spot that I've used since when I was getting 99 Slayer. Drink your potions. Now, I will personally be using a Steel Titan as I uh, think that getting uh, more XP per hour is more important than the drops. If your cannon is not uh, able to attack any of the northern spawns, you will run to uh, to this spot, which will pull them down south so that the your cannon will be able to attack them. If you have any of the eastern spawns very far away so that your cannon cannot attack, all you do is run west and it will get pulled towards your cannon so that it will shoot a lot of more often. So now, just finish your task, use your titan scrolls, uh, you can also use your titan to pull some of these specters closer to you so that you can attack them. Pick the herbs you think are high of value and watch as your herbicide destroys those that are not. And just ignore your task, pretty much. This is a pretty cool task, in my opinion. Pretty good XP. As you can see now that we got some spawns over here. which the cannon will not attack. However, if I pull them towards the cannon, the cannon will now attack them. This is useful for all tasks where you use a cannon. As you can see now, that Avern Spectre is not getting hit. Just run down here, and you've pulled it. It will be the exactly same story for the one that's hiding here. It will not run south, but if you run to this spot, and your cannon will attack it. This is really useful, and this is what makes this spot good, in my opinion. Now just load your cannon when you're out of stuff, and this should be the basics of just killing them. And lastly, we're going to talk about some XP rates. The maximum amount of XP rates you can expect is around 70k, but if you're lucky, you can get up to 80k if you're getting a good spawn world and you're having good kills. You can expect around 500k in drops, which you will get to your bank if you're using a pack yak, and you will be using around 1k cannonballs. The pots you're using isn't that expensive, maybe around 50k for a total. So if you are using a yak, you will profit maybe 100-200k from this task, and if you're using a steel titan, you will maybe lose that amount. In my opinion, it's a really good task. Uh, if you're using a yak, you can make money a bit make money out of it and it's still being great slayer experience. It's also a pretty fast task so that you're getting a fast task and you're getting good XP. That's good in my opinion because you get slayer points which makes you able to skip bad tasks in the future. So to sum it up, it's a good task, it's a fast task, it's it's money if you do it right and I like it. Since this is my first guide I would really appreciate some feedback from you people what's good and what's bad in this uh, this video and then I could perhaps use that feedback and make better videos in the future. If you haven't done so already please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done yet and have fun scaping.